Bellator 251, live on CBS Sports Network from the Mohegan Sun Arena. We started at 170 pounds, Derek Anderson and Achilles Mota. Both guys moving up into the welterweight class. Derek Anderson looking great, Achilles Mota looking great. It gets to a point where you see Achilles Mota landing big shots against Derek Anderson as he's working for that takedown. He did a good job exactly in the first right. round and actually took the round with his grappling. Derek Anderson came back looking to say, okay, I need to change things because I'm getting into grappling situations that I don't want to be in because he doesn't want to stand and kick with me. The takedown was there for Achilles and he utilized it. He kept on working at it. You see Derek here pushes him away. Back kick to the face. A lot of people are looking, thinking he's a down fighter. But if you look at Achilles Mota in this situation, his leg, watch his knee, his knee is up, his foot is up, he's got one hand down, he is not a grounded fighter, he can be kicked to the face or head, that is a legal blow, that is a TKO win for Derek Anderson. The barbaric one winning in our first fight of the night. Then we move to the middleweights, Austin Vanderford and Vinicius de Jesus. Austin Vanderford came into this fight knowing that he needed to wrestle against Vinicius de Jesus, but it was actually Vanderford's stand up with his left hand. That jab made a big difference in opening up areas for him to get inside and take Vinicius de Jesus to the ground with his wrestling. Utilize that stand up game, get inside, and once he got De Jesus to the ground, De Jesus was unable to change the position. You see him lacing the arm here and just landing hammer fist throughout the contest. Almost had him out with an arm triangle choke at the end of the second round. Couldn't get it, but definitely takes a unanimous decision win and 10 and 0 for Austin Vanderford. Impressive performance indeed. Co main event. A heavyweight showdown, Tyrell Fortune and Saeed Soma. Tyrell Fortune trying to right the ship in the year 2020 because he has not had a lot of luck. That was a big knee that he landed right near the end of the round. He would utilized his wrestling much more in this fight, and I think that was the difference that got him in positions to do well. But Saeed Soma showed how tough he was and how calm and relaxed he is during a fight. He just kept chipping away at what Tyrell Fortune was doing. That was a nice little kick that brought Tyrell down, got him into wrestling situations, made a mistake with this near the end of the fight. A very close fight. Both guys are going to look back and wish they did a little bit more, but it was Tyrell Fortune that walked away with a 29-28 unanimous decision victory. So he is back to his winning ways. Then our main event, John, there is a game plan. There is utilizing it, and then there is utilizing it to perfection. Boy, you said it exactly right, because you could not ask for Corey Anderson to fight a better fight than what he did tonight against the legend in Melvin Manho. Corey Anderson, he used good feints, he used his stand-up, he used his wrestling, and he definitely used his ground and pound. Now, Melvin got up back up at times, but when it came to the second round, and Corey Anderson started to open up with heavy ground and pound and big time elbows, he cuts open Melvin with those elbows, starts to land all kinds of damage happening here. Melvin really has no response, and eventually referee Todd Anderson says, that's enough, you're not doing anything to change what's gonna happen, and this is gonna continue on. This is a beautiful win for Corey Anderson. TKO victory in the second round. Everything going according to plan. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com. The toughest tournament in sports is back. Don't miss world champion Patricio Pitbull defending his title against Pedro Cavallo in the Featherweight World Grand Prix. I cannot wait for this fight. Live and free, Bellator MMA on CBS Sports Network.